Uh, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in New York. Today I wanted to talk to you about a really interesting uh, medication which may help a lot of patients who suffer from a condition called POTS. For those of you who don't know what POTS is, POTS stands for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. This is a poorly understood condition and not many doctors know about it but it actually affects a lot of people and has uh, a huge negative impact on quality of life for those people who suffer from it. Um, now basically what happens in POTS is that the person who suffers from POTS really struggles adopting an upright position so they're okay when they're lying down but as soon as they stand up their heart rate goes up excessively and this is manifested in the patient as symptoms of palpitations, tremulousness, um, just anxiety, uh, often uh, patients can also get some visual disturbance, uh, hearing uh, disturbances as well, and they can feel dizzy. And often what they then have to do is they just cannot sustain that, so they have to lie down. And because of this, they become um, more and more sedentary. They try and avoid being upright for a prolonged period of time and they get more and more deconditioned. So hugely disabling. Um, the other thing to say is that although a lot of the symptoms are most noticeable when they're upright, this condition is also associated with lots of other symptoms which are present all the time. In particular, patients with POTS are always tired. They never wake up feeling refreshed. Um, they often complain of very bad brain fog which can be unpredictable. Uh, so some days they're okay and then out of the blue they can be hit by bad brain fog. Um, they get a lot of temperature disturbances, so they can feel very hot at times, they can feel very cold at other times. Um, and they often have gut issues, so they have things like irritable bowel syndrome, they get swallowing difficulties, constipation, um, bloating. Um, a lot of uh, patients with POTS are diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome because they're so fatigued and they keep going to the doctor because they're so fatigued and the doctor then will say oh you're always fatigued that's you know maybe it's chronic fatigue syndrome uh, but a lot of patients with chronic fatigue syndrome actually have this condition called POTS. Um, in addition um, a lot of patients will have things like fibromyalgia so there's pain they'll often be diagnosed with anxiety even though they really don't feel anxious and actually it's been proven that patients with POTS aren't really anxious it's just the nature of the condition that makes them feel like that um, so this is a very uh, disabling condition and for one of the big problems for patients with POTS is that their conditions can be, their, their symptoms can be very variable. So uh, some days can be very good, some days can be good and then out of the blue for no reason they can have really bad days and their brain fog can be really bad and they can feel very tremulous when they're standing up. And so one of the big problems for them is that they cannot look forward to anything. They cannot look forward to an event. Say a friend is getting married, a patient with POTS will always be worried. They'll be thinking, oh my god, I hope I'll be okay. What if, what if my brain fog is bad? What if um, I cannot stand for a prolonged period of time? And so because of that, uh, sometimes they avoid going and enjoying themselves because they're so worried about their symptoms. And this can lead to social isolation and this can make everything worse. So the idea that if you could have a pill in the pocket, which you could use for special occasions, so say you have a special occasion coming up, you're worried about the fact that your symptoms may flare up, and if you can take this tablet and it makes you feel better, then that would be a very appealing prospect. Fortunately, there is a tablet that can do exactly that and can be used as a pill in the pocket to help people enjoy those days where they're looking forward to, which they're looking forward to, by taking this tablet on that particular occasion. Um, this particular tablet or this particular medication is called um, Desmopressin, okay? Desmopressin. It's also called DDAVP. And sometimes instead of a tablet, it can be used as a nasal spray called Desmospray. And basically what Desmopressin is, is it's a synthetic form of an antidiuretic hormone. So what do I mean by antidiuretic hormone? Um, we normally have a hormone um, within our bodies called vasopressin and what this does is it aims to concentrate our urine 
by retaining more fluid within our body. So it uh, reduces the amount of water we get rid of and it retains that water within our system. And for a lot of patients with POTS, one of the things that really helps them is more uh, hydration, more volume within the body. So if you, they have a lot more volume, they feel a lot better. And a lot of patients with POTS will actually benefit from being given intravenous fluids, intravenous saline. So if you give a patient with POTS intravenous saline, they feel better. Uh, but the problem with that is that, you know, you have to go to hospital, you have to convince someone to give you intravenous saline. And that is not really something you can, uh, you know, you have to plan for that. Uh, but this particular medication, what that does is it, tries to retain more fluid within the body. And so there was an interesting study in 2012 by a guy called Coffin. This was published in the Heart Rhythm Journal in 2012. And basically what they did was they took 30 patients with POTS and they gave them um, this, uh, this medication called DDAVP, a uh, 0.2 milligram tablet, okay? And they compared that with placebo. And what they found is that Patients, when they took the DDAVP, 0.2 milligrams, uh, 0.2 milligram tablet, uh, they found that these patients felt a lot better within one hour of taking the medications, and this persisted for up to four hours uh, from taking the medication. They noticed that their heart rate didn't go up as high. Um, uh, within an hour and this persisted for four hours the patient felt better they felt less tremulous they got less palpitations uh, they got less visual disturbance as well so they the the authors concluded that this could be a, a valid treatment for these patients the problem with this medication is this that because it's retaining a lot of fluid and patients with POTS are encouraged to drink lots of fluid, they can become uh, sodium deficient because there's so much more water in the body and less sodium. And therefore these patients can develop hyponatremia, which is low sodium levels. And that can be dangerous. And therefore it is generally recommended that this tablet not be taken on a daily basis but could be used as a pill in the pocket for special occasions. Other problems with this medication is it causes fluid retention, so it can cause edema, and in some patients it can cause a headache. But it can be very valuable, uh, particularly for special occasions. And the good thing about that is that, you know, it is important when you're suffering from this to be with your friends to have a good time because otherwise what can happen is you can be restricted at home you can get lonely you start feeling depressed and that makes everything worse so the idea that you can take a medication on the day that you're looking for you've been looking forward to and hopefully the medication will keep you uh, sustain you for that day is very appealing indeed so um, this is just something worth knowing about for those patients who suffer from POTS um, and uh, maybe worth uh, talking to your doctor about as a pill in the pocket. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any experience with DDAVP, please uh, leave me a comment so that uh, I can learn from you. Other than that, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, all that you say and all that you do for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'm very, very grateful for everything. I have a WhatsApp broadcast uh, now, which is, um, and you can join my WhatsApp broadcast by uh, sending me a message on WhatsApp on the number 447951310008. Uh, in addition,